This is Hydrogen Tap. What we're looking at is the third in a series of three videos, starting with number 93. Make sure that you looked or start with 93. The question was, what is making the muck that we keep finding on the bottom of the plates of the cells after we run them? What the first video showed was the cell running with complete distilled water and nothing else in it. After five minutes into the test, we pretty well proved there was no activity whatsoever, no amperage drawing. Then we added sodium hydroxide, which is lye, to the system. And we ran that, which showed a tremendous amount of hydrogen being produced clean. This is the third in a series of the three videos, which we're now looking at the plate system turned off to check to see if there's any discoloration, any of the sludge that was being found. My biggest question was whether my plates was causing any of that sludge. The answer is very clear. As you can see here, there's no sludge in here at all. These are the plates I'm using on a 3LR1000 system. These plates here are 6 inches by 12. There's two plates here, and they're separated about an eighth of an inch. What we're looking at here is no question about the proof that shows that all the sludge that we have been seeing came from the tap water. From now on, all my tests will be running using distilled water. And I suggest everyone else follow the same course of action. I did get one email saying that he was using a filter and it did take care of the sludge. That's a good possibility. Now you're looking at the pulse system that I'm building that's going to be mounted with that cell that we were just looking at. This is a pulse system that I'm going to be working with the 3LR1000 unit. The reason I'm using the larger unit to the right is because it only has two plates and by using a two plate system in as large as it is I can see exactly what is going on. And it's very easy to see with this size plate. This, you can see there's a lot, I've been a lot of additions to the pulse system that I'm working on here. I have had a lot of emails asking whether I'm making the schematics for this. The system that I started was with a motor pulsing system and it has been modified to do what I'm looking for. The modifications in a pulse system are by making variable resistance panels which enable you to change the pulse width and the timing. The other change that I've made in this system enables me to to push a switch that will enable me to instantly go to a meter to see exactly what the resistance is in the different placement parts in the electronic circuit board. By doing that, I have control and I can tell exactly where I am. A lot of the tests that people have made and claimed that they reached the zero point 
energy system. They cannot reproduce it. That is the reason this pulse system I am building is taking so long. I'm building everything in it I can so that once we reach the state that we're looking for, we can note all the changes. And if we're right, we should be able to reproduce it. So I'll have about three or four meters in line with this system. Please make sure you looked at video 93 and 94 if you're really interested.